Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, just getting started this morning. I have been out since about 11, but it is now 1134 and I'm just now getting my first order. So um, the map was slow be before I even logged on. So I have a DoorDash order from Oishi Sushi and it was going uh, like 9.3 miles for $14. So I just kind of took it. I know it's a lot of miles, but I took it to kind of just get started and there was five items. So I'm thinking there might be a chance that it, it's a little bit higher, but let's go get it and find out. Hello, Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, ask. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Have a good one. Okay, so I have that order on board. It was ready when I walked in, thank goodness. Sometimes I have to wait there for a little while. Uh, but it is about 16 minutes to the drop off and a little over eight miles. So let's go get it off. Okay, I have that Oishi Sushi dropped off. Um, it was kind of funny. When I sent my message that I was on my way, they texted back where they were gonna meet me and to look for a terrifying blonde girl uh, to meet me. So uh, when I got there and the girl came out and she was, uh, she was the blonde. And so I was like, you don't look that terrifying. And she goes, oh my gosh, I can't believe she put that. So somebody else had <laughs> texted the message back and, and said that about her. Anyway, I just got a kick out. I thought it was funny. So I am here uh, at uh, Toro Hibachi and uh, about ready to go in to pick up my next order. It's on Grubhub for $7.05. And I think it was going a little over two miles. So uh, I'm going to go in and grab that right now. that uh, Toro Hibachi on me. I had to wait maybe three to five minutes for it. Not too bad. So, And actually the drop off is only 1.1 miles. So I'm going to have it off pretty quick here. Uh, also that uh, last order that I picked up um, from Oishi Sushi uh, turned into a $14.75 order. And another interesting thing that I noticed was, I think I've told you guys before that I run a DoorDash on both my iPhone and then on an Android. And so when I took the screenshot on my iPhone, it showed $14. But when I looked at my Android, it said $14.50 for the offer. So that was really odd. I have never seen that happen before, so I don't know if there's a glitch or, I mean, it's news to me if they show more of the uh, tip amount on Android than on iPhone, so I, I don't know what was up with that, but I was just wondering if you guys have ever had that happen, you know, if you run both. So let's go get this order off. that um, Toro Hibachi off and I just left it at the security guard's desk in an office building so it was pretty easy drop off. Uh, I picked up an order on DoorDash uh, from Chipotle. Uh, actually I'm here to pick it up right now but I got an order from there and uh, it was for $6.50 going like 2.3 miles if I remember correctly. Um, but I, I took it hoping that I would get like a stacked order because, you know, with Chipotle, they're always so busy that it's, it's fairly common to get a stacked order from there. But I'm already here and don't have anything yet. But I did get another order uh, on Grubhub and it's picking up at Jersey Mike's and it shouldn't take me too long to pick up from either one of these places. And it's for $7.15 and I think it was going like 3.8 miles, somewhere around in there. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick up the Chipotle, I'm gonna pick up the Jersey Mike's and then I'm gonna drop off the Chipotle and then I'll go drop off the Jersey Mike's since it's further away. So let's go get them. Into the Chipotle, and there were about 
about five people standing kind of over by the order rack and so I was like uh, this doesn't look very good and so I asked one of the guys standing there I was like how long have you been waiting and he said oh, it's going on 15 minutes and I was like oh, okay thanks you just answered my question and I turned around and walked out and unassigned it so I did pick up the uh, Jersey Mike's uh, so it's on board and I'm about two and a half miles away from the drop-off should only take me about seven minutes so let's go get it done So I got that Jersey Mike's order off. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if you could tell when I delivered it. I tried to get them, but it was a couple guys that were working on a chimney. The direction said go to the backyard, uh, leave that chimney or something like that. So I was a little like what at first. So, but once I got there, you know, I figured out, you know, what was going on. So. Anyway, uh, I have a, another order on me now. It's on DoorDash, and it is for $6.50, and it was only going like 1.7 miles, if I remember correctly. So uh, I'm only about, I don't know, a couple hundred yards, maybe 300 yards from the pickup. So let's go grab it. <music> That uh, was kind of strange the way DoorDash showed that uh, $7.50 because when I took a screenshot of the order, it was for $6.50. So, no, you know, it will usually tell you down below that it was uh, originally $6.50 and now it's $7.50, you know, uh, how they word that, but that wasn't worded like that at all. So, that was weird. I, Weird things are going on with DoorDash today. I don't know what's up with them, but yeah, that was just odd the way it didn't show uh, that it went up, you know, from 650. So anyway, I'll take it, but yeah, that's not usually how they show that if the order goes up. So, all right, I'm just waiting on my next order. weird stuff happening today. I don't know why. Um, I have an order on me from Noodles and & Company and I walked in, the gal greeted me and said, hey, your order will be, you know, just a few minutes. So I was like, okay, maybe that's the only order they have so they know I'm picking that up, right? So I didn't, she didn't ask the name and I didn't give the name. And so I sat down, it, probably about five minutes, I waited. And then she pushes this order flow forward on the uh, counter and says the name. And I was like, that doesn't sound like my name. So I said, is that for Jason? Because it had drinks and I didn't have drinks. And she was like, oh. Um, and then she looked at another order kind of sitting up on a shelf and it was mine. And it had been sitting there all that time. So you know, I was just like, good grief, people, you know? I figure you know what you're talking about when <laughs> You say it's about ready so anyway I am on my way with it I am about six minutes uh, from the drop-off and it's about 2.5 miles so hopefully the drop-off won't take as long as the pickup did so let's go get it off huh. 
I had to wait just a little bit on that order, um, but it gave me time to use the restroom, so that was fine. And uh, I'm not very far, maybe seven minutes from the drop-off, so uh, like 3.2 miles, I think is what the GPS said. So uh, let's go get it off. Okay, I got that Noodles & Company order off, and it wasn't too tricky of a drop-off. Um, it took me longer than I wanted it to, but it wasn't too bad. So I now have an order from Basha Mediterranean Cuisine. And it was for $12.39 going like 4.7 miles if I remember correctly. And uh, like I said, I have it on board. I'm headed there. I should be there in less than seven minutes. So, And the uh, order from Noodles & Company turned into a $7.17 order up from $6.50. So like I always say, every little bit helps. Spark delivery app and it was for $27.50. $15 of that is the tip so I won't get that until tomorrow so I'll get $12.50 today. It was $2.15 when I took it and it wasn't ready to pick up until $2.45. So while I was waiting for that I took an order from McDonald's on DoorDash and it was only going just a couple miles. It was kind of taking me down to where I needed to uh, pick up the Walmart the spark delivery so I picked that up in less than a minute and dropped it off in less than five so uh, it was it was for six dollars and fifty cents and it turned into a seven dollar and fifty cent order so I'm heading now to pick up that spark delivery and it was it's two orders for that amount and the total miles was four so it shouldn't be too um, it should be too horrible to get off so I just pulled into the parking lot and should have it in a few minutes, hopefully. Okay, I have those two orders on board. It didn't take me very long to get them out in here, thank goodness. So I'm headed to the first drop off and it's about uh, 1.9 miles. And it should only take me about five minutes to drop off. Uh, one of them was a fairly large order. It had like 73 items. Uh, the other one uh, only had 16 items. The larger order I know for sure had at least two cases of uh, water in it, uh, maybe three. It doesn't look like it's going to an apartment, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. So let's go get it off. Okay, I got that first drop off done. Um, I don't know why people put no contact delivery and then they like come out while you're dropping it off you know it's just ma it makes it very awkward because you still got to take your picture right <laughs> so you're like you know I was kind of the guy comes out and I was kind of like uh, I, I got to take a picture if that's all right and he like set everything back down and then went back in the house <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. So anyway, I'm on my way to the uh, second drop off. It's only about 2.1 miles in four minutes. So it's the bigger one. So it might take me, you know, a little bit longer to get it dropped off, but uh, 
Let's go get it done. Okay, I got that uh, second spark delivery off and I only had one complaint about it and that is that at the customer's house, they their driveway was just full of vehicles and so I had nowhere to park. I was like parked across the street and I had to walk all that way with all those groceries. So I don't know. I don't know what people are thinking. It took me a while because I'm walking twice the distance to get everything dropped off, but it's done. And at least it wasn't an apartment. It could have been a lot worse being on the third floor or something. But uh, other than that, it was fine. I now have a Grubhub order um, picking up from McDonald's and it was for $9.92 and it was just going, I don't know, two or three miles, something like that. Um, so it shouldn't take me too long to do. I'm sitting out here ready to go in right now. So let's go get it. Okay, the McDonald's order is dropped off and I accepted a Grubhub order for $7.26 picking up at Grinders. So I am sitting in the parking lot, about ready to go in. So let's go in and grab it. Okay, I have that grinders on board. It's about 1.1 miles or three minutes to the drop off. So let's go get it done. delivered uh, it was uh, to a hotel and it didn't take me very long to find the room or anything and it was just a hand to customer so he answered the door very quickly thank goodness so I now have a order on DoorDash from me Ranchito and it's only like three minutes to the restaurant and I'm actually pulling into the parking lot right now to pick it up. So hopefully it'll be ready. Sometimes they take a little longer, but um, I guess we'll see. So let's go in and get it. Okay, so I have that Mi Ranchito on board. Uh, they have us go in a, a door towards the back of the restaurant, and I went in there, I wasn't sitting there, so I kind of sat and waited on it about six minutes, and it wasn't coming, which is very unusual for that restaurant. So I went up front and asked them if they even had the order, and um, you know, she found it, and it was, actually all the stuff was made, it just needed to be bagged up. So uh, she just bagged it up real quick for me, and uh, now I'm on my way. So uh, it's only about six minutes to the drop off, so I should have it done pretty much in no time. I think it's dropping off at a hotel, so um, it shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go get it off. I got that Mi Ranchito off. It was uh, just to the front desk at the hotel, so pretty easy drop off. Um, I took a minute just to kind of look at how much I've made for the day so far, and I ha I've only made like $98 and some change, almost $99. And uh, I've been out for five and a half hours already. The orders aren't very huge, and um, is not coming in very fast so you know a lot of times I can double up uh, and get a stacked order even between um, different apps and I haven't even been able to do that today so anyway um, I don't know if I'm gonna work much later than 8 if it doesn't pick up so uh, 
you know, I still have the rest of the week. Fridays are usually good. I can make up some time. So, um, I'll let you know when I get my next order. Okay guys, it's almost 5 o'clock, uh, almost time for the dinner rush, so I'm hoping things pick up a little bit. But I did just get an order on Uber Eats for um, two orders, uh, picking up at Outback Steakhouse for $17.09. And I think the mileage was like 6.9 miles, so Outback Steakhouse is just like behind me, right over my shoulder here. So I'm going to head that direction and let's go pick up those orders. both of those Outback Steakhouse orders on board. I'm on my way to the first drop off and it's about eight minutes away, 3.4 miles. Uh, so, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult. I think it's just going to a house. So, um, as soon as I get that dropped off, I'll let you know how far I am from the next one. second delivery off um, it was in a gated community and they left the code and everything for me and I dropped it off and went to leave and I couldn't get um, out well I got through the gate but there was a truck that was like picking up leaves so it was like sucking up leaves and um, they were just sitting in the middle of the drive no way to get around them or anything and so he walked up to me and said, we're going to be a minute. And I was like, well, how long is a minute? Because I've already been sitting there a minute, right? And uh, <laughs> and he goes, well, you may, we can get you through this other gate, or you may want to go out the other one. I was like, can you guys not just pull your truck around the corner and get out of the driveway? And he was like, no, we ran out of gas. I said, your truck ran out of gas? He said, no, the leaf sucker upper uh, ran out of gas. So they were filling that up. And I was just like, Okay, I'll go out the other side. Never mind, you know, it was just it was just so inconvenient, you know. I don't know. Anyway <laughs> I just keep having weird stuff happen today. It's one of those days. So I have a uh, Grubhub order on me from China Rose. It's for fifteen dollars. Um, I honestly don't remember the miles. So I don't think it was very far, I think it was like 2.9 or 2.3, something, something like that, so um, I'm on my way to go pick that up right now, I should be just maybe three minutes from the pickup, so... Okay, I picked up that order from uh, China Rose and it was like really fast, uh, I bet it was less than two minutes to the drop off, so... Uh, that's off, and then I have a DoorDash order uh, picking up from Jack Stack Barbecue. Um, I missed the screenshot. I tried to get it, but um, I was messing with loading up that China Rose order, and I didn't get to it in time to uh, accept it and get the screenshot. So I thought it was more important to accept it than to get the screenshot. So 
Anyway, I, I'm about uh, probably a mile away from the pickup and I'll let you know how far I am from the drop off once I get it on board. All right, I have the uh, Jack Stack barbecue on board. They had it all ready, so all I had to do is grab it and put it in my bag. So um, I am four minutes away, uh, less than a mile. So let's go get this dropped off. Kara, Grubhub? Both of them? Okay, thank you. Okay, I just picked up and dropped off an order uh, picking up from Bangkok Pavilion. It was on Grubhub for $9.42 and it was going 3.8 miles. So it was ready when I got there and the drop off was easy, so uh, no issues there. I do have another Grubhub on me now. It was for $8.95 and it was going 2.8 miles. So I'm gonna go grab that. It is a pay only order. So uh, DeBronx usually gets, and it's picking up from DeBronx and they usually call those in. So I shouldn't have any issues there. So let's go grab it. <laughs> So apparently I spoke too soon on that DeBronx order. Uh, got in there and they didn't have the order and they said they don't take orders um, ahead of time because they won't pay for them. So I'm like, I've never had that problem here before. And he goes, well, I'm just telling you that's what my boss said. Yeah, so I don't know if they just didn't call it in or he just wouldn't take the order when it was called in. But from now on, I will call the Bronx ahead of time to see if an order was placed and if it wasn't placed then I'll go ahead and place the order and then pay for it uh, at that you know at the time that I placed the order so I can still pick up the order. He told me it was going to be 15 minutes for the item that uh, would needed to be ordered but um, I wasn't going to wait 15 minutes so I just unassigned it and I'm now waiting on my next order. I just got another order on the Grubhub from Bangkok Pavilion. Lots of Bangkok Pavilions tonight or maybe it's only the second one. I don't know. I've had, I think I had one earlier in the day today. So I am about ready to pull into the uh, parking lot right now. Alright, I have the uh, Bangkok on board and it's about 1.9 miles, uh, should take me about 7 minutes to get to the drop off, so let's go get her back. Okay, so I got that uh, Bangkok pavilion off, uh, no issues, and I already have a DoorDash order. Uh, picking up from Jack Stack Barbecue, it was for ten dollars and fifty cents, and it was going like, well, the app and map showed it was like eight point four miles, but I don't think it's going to be that far. It looks like it was picking up previous miles um, when I looked at the map, so so I'm thinking it's going to be shorter. So I'm on my way to go get it right now. Okay, I have the uh, Jack Stack Barbecue on board and. And I was right, it was only like 6.5 miles uh, to the drop off from the restaurant. So um, it should take me about nine minutes to get that off. So uh, let's go get her done. Okay, so the order from Jack Stack Barbecue took me out of my zone and so I uh, accepted an order in the other zone that was coming back into my zone and it was an Uber Eats order for $7.50 and I was picking up from Starbucks and unfortunately it was a huge order. Well, I don't know if it's unfortunate yet, but because it was a huge order it took them like 20 minutes to get it all together for 20 minutes, it's not worth $7.50. So, you know, I'm a little perturbed 
that I even took the order. But you know, on Uber Eats, you can't see you can't see how many items there are. Usually with Uber Eats, they're ready. So you know, it was just one of those unfortunate circumstances. Okay, guys, I'm home for the night. It was it's 8:37, uh, and um, been a long day. Kind of frustrating at times just because you know I didn't hit my goal today number one and I knew that I was not hitting my goal every hour so I knew by the time I got home tonight I wasn't gonna hit my goal but watch until the end to see my totals so um, hopefully tomorrow you know it'll pick up a little bit but it's Wednesday so it might not but um, you know, it is what it is. You just do your best and um, hope for the best. So uh, some days, not all days, a lot of times you can just make it happen. So today was not one of those days. So anyway, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, make sure you, if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications to be uh, alerted. Uh, when I have a new video uh, come out. So anyway, uh, hope you all have a great night and we'll see you all in the next video. Grinders. I got that grinder. I got that grinders delivered. Uh, it was 